And, you know, it's, you know, Brad is such a good, a good guy, man. A lot, you know, a lot of people don't know and don't see, uh, you know, so I'm going to tell you guys. I appreciate that. We were, we were rehearsing that scene and it was just Brad, Bennett and myself. We rehearsed the scene, Bennett called cut on rehearsal and Bennett walked away. And Brad stands there and he looks at me and he goes, he looks me up and down. Wow. You got some fucking skills, don't you? And he walks <laughs> away. And he just walks away. Le left me there with it. With that just you in know? your head. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, did anybody see that? Brad Pitt <laughs> just said I'm a good actor. Did anybody see that? So then after we shot the scene, he said it again. He was like, you know, listen, I'm not, I'm not kidding, man. You're good. You really, you should be doing this for a long time, man. You really got it. You, you're solid. Wow. And at the premiere, at the at the after party, he was like, listen, I want to let you know, I was not just being generous. I really think that you're solid at this craft, man. So, and, you know, Brad was one of my favorite actors. You know, it's a funny story, another serendipitous moment. 10, 15, maybe 12, maybe 12 years before Moneyball, I was driving through Hollywood and I was on, I'll never forget it, on Fountain and Crescent Heights. I pulled up to a light and I looked to my left and it's Brad Pitt in a big old school Bronco. And I go, bro, oh my God, I wave him down. He rolls down the window. I'm like, man, you're one of my favorite actors. I love you in California. He goes, California? <laughs> you really are a fan. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I like the real stuff. Like, so then when I saw him on set, I got to tell him and remind him of that. And he remembered it, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, but Brad is a great guy, man. He's super he cool like to work with. One of the with. few actors that, like, is at that level whose ego is like not where it probably should be, right? He's like, he's and that was why I was so surprised. He was so cool. That's like when I we were, I had this, you know, this thing where I knew he and I had to be at odds in the film. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm not going to fanboy out. Yeah. To this guy on set. Matter of fact, if he comes on set, I'm not going to go up to him and meet him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave him alone because I got to be adversarial with him. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to break down that, that energy. Only way I'm going to meet him is if he comes up to me. S sure enough, we're in the Oakland Coliseum and I'm talking to the actual Billy Bean on the field. Ooh. And I have my, and you know that feeling where you can feel somebody walks up behind you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm talking, and Bill, Billy looks over my shoulder, and I turn around, and it's Brad Pitt and Ange Angelina Jolie. Oh, what? man. And I go, I look, and he goes, hey, Stephen, how you doing, man? I'm Brad Pitt. And I go, wait a minute, <laughs> yes. you know my name? And he goes, yes. he goes, yeah. He goes, honey. This is Stephen Bishop. He's the guy that plays David Justice. Oh. And I'm like, holy God. <laughs> so, yeah, it was amazing, bro. It was it, the whole experience. To this day, Moneyball easily is my favorite and most enjoyable experience in my career. I don't know that it'll, I'll ever be able to top it because I grew up in the Bay Area. I got to play okay. in an Oakland A's uniform in the Coliseum. I got to play my idol. I got to play opposite Brad Pitt and Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yep. And the movie had, you know, a lot of success. So I can't imagine it getting any better than that. 